A significant mark in history has been made with the first US moon landing in 50 years. Yeah, and most significantly, Erin, because this is the first private venture to land a vessel on the moon. It's called Innovative Machinery is the group behind this. They've done it in addition with NASA. There's a contract there, uh, as well as partly with a SpaceX rocket. They've landed this little uh, Odysseus, I believe it's called, spacecraft on the moon. It's part of a mission to collect some data and uh, assist in tracking and other bits and pieces that will lay the groundwork for future crewed missions back to the moon. There's also a great Australian connection to this too, Erin. There's a, a massive telescope uh, transmission disc in parks in central west New South Wales that was involved in tracking this ah. spacecraft on its mission to the moon. So Australia, once again, with its fingerprints on space uh, adventure, which is always great. Was that the movie, The Dish? In... Was it called that? that in... I think was that's that right. The Dish? Yeah. 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 I remember that. Yeah, yes. Maria, I think it's called the um, the one in parks in, in central yeah. west New South Wales. So, um, so uh, good to see a, an Australian fingerprint on that as, as well. And of course, this yet another Lego brick down on the the long step towards <laughs> eventual uh, commercial space flight era. And it, it is hoped that one day Australians will be taking fewer flights to Bali and more flights <laughs> to the moon. I, I don't know what the resorts would be like once they get there, but that is the long term oh. vision as well. I would not care. It could be 10 star and you would not get me on any kind of flight to space. Cam, thank you so much for your time. Brilliant. Thanks, Erin.